Choosing an explant surgeon really is an individualized process. There are different aspects that are more important to some of us than others. But in this video, I'm going to share with you five key qualities to look for when narrowing down your explant surgeon selection. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel, hit the thumbs up and share with your best friends. Also, in the description, you'll find a link to a free explant planning checklist. It'll take you through 33 steps to check off from the time you decide to explant to being implant free. So you can feel super, super organized and get some of that stress off your plate. Okay, so here we go. My five key qualities to look for when finding a kick-ass explant surgeon. One, make sure they are board certified and specifically trained in the field of plastic surgery. Okay, I know this sounds obvious, but if you've seen the show Botched, you'll see women out there getting nose jobs from dentists, right? So make sure that your surgeon is qualified to safely and skillfully perform your surgery. Number two, find an explant surgeon who has plenty of documented experience in breast implant removal and the results to show for it. For example, if you go to their website and they don't list explant surgery or breast implant removal as a service, then it's likely not a procedure they specialize in or do very much of. If you go to a website of a surgeon who specializes in breast augmentation, for example, it's usually all over their website, boobs everywhere. Um, likewise, with plastic surgeons who specialize in other areas like liposuction or rhinoplasty, it's usually very prominent that that's what they do. Um, putting implants in is a very different art form to removing implants and creating aesthetically pleasing results with what's left of the natural breast. And with that also, a good explant surgeon will likely offer additional options such as breast lift, which is also known as mastopexy. I can never say that word for some reason. My mouth just wants to do something else. Mastopexy um, and also fat transfer. They should also be able to repair your pectoral muscle or chest muscle if need be, which is sometimes necessary, especially if your implants are placed under the muscle, behind the muscle. I'm not going to talk about the different types of explant procedures in this video or tell you that it must be done one particular way, rather that the surgeon is very experienced or perhaps even specializes in explant surgery. Number three, they acknowledge that breast implant illness and associated symptoms are a real thing. And any surgeon that tells you otherwise makes you feel crazy or diminishes your feelings and concerns around this topic, in my opinion, should not be profiting from your explant surgery or trusted to have your best interest at heart with your healing journey. That's my two cents. Number four, compassion. While skill is important, and we've already talked about that, so is energy. And having a surgeon who is understanding and really hears your concerns and your goals and genuinely wants to see you happy with your results, this goes a long way to helping you feel confident going into surgery and also calm on your surgery day. I was incredibly calm the morning of my surgery because I just, I knew I was in good hands and I felt so supported by my surgeon and his entire team from the moment I arrived that morning to you know, getting walked through that pre-op process all the way through to having my hand held, you know, leading into anesthesia, falling asleep, feeling very supported and safe, and then waking up to just feeling comfortable and cozy and 
just feeling the love and the energy around me. And finally, number five, look for a surgeon who has women out there who are independently saying they're happy with their experience and results. Independent reviews are everything and a huge reason why I chose my surgeon. I was able to go into Facebook groups and on Instagram and ask women about their experiences with my surgeon and see tons of reviews and independently posted before and after photos. And while it's very important to remember that everyone's results are unique, uh, it's just reassuring to get a good general consensus that your surgeon is out there doing the best they can to leave women feeling happy and healthy. Once you've narrowed down your list based on these qualities, it's time to think about the other things that are important to you in choosing your ideal surgeon. Things like payment options, surgery date availability, proximity to home. There are so many factors to consider to help you make your decision. They may even leave you feeling a little overwhelmed because there is a lot to think about, but it is my recommendation to consult with a few surgeons before making your final decision. Ultimately, your final choice of surgeon should leave you feeling really, really good. Remember, if you are in the planning stages of your explant, go and download the explant planning checklist linked in the description. You can print it out and you can check off all the steps to stay organized as you go through your explant journey. You can also come and join me and your new breasties in the Empowered Explant Facebook group. Reach out if you have questions. That's what I am here for. I would love to connect with you and support you along the way.